Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the modal verb must in English. Must in English can be used in two ways. The first and most common way is as a command or obligation. Listen to these examples. You must do your homework. This is an obligation. You must clean your room. Another obligation. You must come to class on time. Another obligation. In addition to must is an obligation. It can also be used for speculation or deductions. For example, he has an expensive watch. He must be rich. Based on seeing that a person wears an expensive watch, we can conclude or deduce that he must be rich. Another example, he is very healthy. He must go to the gym regularly. Based on seeing that a person is healthy, we conclude or deduce that he most likely or certainly goes to the gym regularly. Our conclusion is based on a particular observation. However, when we want to talk about the past, we must add have and past participle. For instance, Fred didn't eat anything for dinner. He must have eaten a lot earlier. Because Fred didn't eat anything for dinner, we conclude that the reason for this is that he ate a lot before. So we say must have eaten, so that's must and have, and then eaten, not ate or eat, but eaten. The past participle form of eat. Here is another example. Sam arrived early. He must have driven quickly. Sam arrived at a location early, so we conclude that the reason for this is that he drove quickly rather than slowly. So we say must have driven. So that's must and have then driven. Not drove, but the past participle form of drive. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. See you soon, have a great day. Watch this video a few times to understand properly and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.